My husband Kyle and I, behind the camera, sass boy, we struggled with binge eating our entire life. And what we tried to do was fix it, was play the takeaway game. We took away food groups, we took away fruit, we thought that would make us gain weight. We took away carbs, we did fad diets, we listened to what society and magazines and fitness influencers were saying and we ended up just binging more because that just made us feel deprived and like we were missing stuff and we ended up gaining more and more weight until we reached our heaviest weights. Kyle was 375 pounds. I was 275 pounds and we developed massive health problems. Kyle had type 2 diabetes, I had sleep apnea where I was stopping breathing 7 times a night and partially stopping breathing 84 times a night. Also we had knee, hip, back problems. I had plantar fasciitis so bad I was hopping around on one foot. My PCOS symptoms were through the roof because of my weight. Our health was so bad we knew that we needed to lose weight but that we couldn't go back to fad diets. We had to figure out a way because we loved to eat. So we had to figure out a way to embrace eating and filling up our bellies and feeling satisfied while being in a calorie deficit so that we could lose weight and save our lives. So both of us had binge eating problems and we liked to eat a lot. We loved food. So we needed to find a way to help curb our binge eating while eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight and save our lives and feel full and satisfied. So we discovered the low calorie, high volume foods, which are foods that are lower in calorie that you can eat a lot of that fill your belly and leave you feeling satisfied and less likely to binge. So fruits and carbs, we had to realize finally, after so many years, they're not making you fat. No, what we realized, what we were doing was, we weren't really drinking any water or enough water. We were taking away everything that we loved, fruit, carbs, treats, everything. It was backfiring. We were hungry all the time and we were just binging more and gaining weight. So I'm gonna show you some of our favorite foods that we use to feel full and stop us from binging. I am not a doctor, Kyle's not a doctor, we're not nutritionists, dietitians. We have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years, but don't listen to us, consult a doctor before you do anything. All right, so these are our foods. Number one, this is the guar gum that goes in the anabolic ice cream. And obviously we got the recipe from greg 2 set but there's also recipes in the Power 13 cookbook if you wanna know how to make it. It is made with fruit and protein powder and this guar gum thickens it which gives you a massive serving and makes you feel really full and satisfied and we like topping it with all kinds of low calorie cookies and it makes it even tastier. And when we make our own version, it's about 390 calories. One cup of normal ice cream that you can buy at the store is like 320 calories and you only get like this much whereas with the anabolic ice cream we get a huge bowl of it and guar gum is made from guar beans so it's like tons of fiber it's like yeah. ground up beans and it really it like doubles or triples in size so you get a lot and it fills up your belly and you won't be wanting for anything the next thing we learned about was oatmeal it is so versatile, you can put anything you want in it. And a one serving is like 150 calories for half a cup. It When you cook it with water or any sort of like low calorie liquid, like silk, like non-dairy milk, it expands and doubles in size. So it really fills your belly and it's slow digesting. So you'll feel full and satisfied for a really long time. We ate oatmeal from the very beginning of our weight loss journey and it really helped us stay full and we added our favorite things to it like berries and um, protein powder, cinnamon, and it made it so good. And I don't know if this is true or not, but me and Nicole also eat um, just normal white bread. We find the lowest calorie bread, but that's also a good food. But going back to oatmeal, 
I feel like if we're going on, sometimes me and Nicole do like a longer hike, like more than an hour, like an hour and a half or two hours. And I think oatmeal for me lasts in my belly a bit longer than the bread. Yeah, it always fills me up and lasts for a really long time. So if you are going in between meals for quite a while, oatmeal will really keep you full and satisfied. Next, fruit. In the beginning, we thought that it would make you fat. Fruit is so low calorie. If you choose berries, most of the time, they're full of fiber, so they will fill you up, and you can have a ton of them for very low calories. Um, the, the bags from Walmart of strawberries are actually wrong, so don't always take the calorie counts exactly, like do your own research about them, but from our research, a cup of strawberries is about 50 calories. So you can eat a ton of these and feel really full. And they give you your sweet craving too. And you can also put some sweetener. You can blend them up into like a frozen drink. They go into anabolic ice cream. You can literally make anything you want out of these. So and what, I'll add in, what does make you gain weight is being in a calorie surplus, meaning yes. eating too much. That was always our problem. It wasn't the carbs, it wasn't the fruit, it wasn't- Insulin the... problems, hormone problems. Yes, all of these things can affect Absolutely. your weight, but it's still calories in, calories out for each person. Yeah, and when we were eating too much, that was the problem. When we ate what we liked in a calorie deficit, that's when we started losing weight and we were able to lose 50 pounds in three months very quickly because we had a lot of weight to lose and because we were liking what we were eating and we were feeling full. And my favorite thing to do is pair berries with fat-free Greek yogurt, the plain one, because you can flavor it yourself. It is so full of protein. It's very low in fat if you get the fat-free. And when I mix it with a little bit of the fat-free pudding mix, the chocolate, it makes like a fruit dip. And this thickens the yogurt, makes your belly even more full because it's so filling. This combined with the fruit, you can eat so much of it and you feel like you're eating a really good dessert. And uh, that's I'll, one of my favorites. I'll add in, in Canada, I don't know if it's the same in the States, this says fat free. It is fat free, but it's also sugar free, which it doesn't mention on the front. No, it doesn't, and that's the bonus, is that we do include a little bit of sugar in our diet, but mostly we choose like the lower sugar or sugar free things. Next, this was actually a complete lifesaver for us, and that is popcorn. In the beginning, we just ate like Air Pop, and then we discovered Smart Pop. We love popcorn because you can get so much of it, and approximately 200 calories for this whole bag of 94% fat-free Smart Pop, I feel like it's an endless bowl, and it, it fills me up, it leaves me satisfied. You can put salt or kernel seasoning on it and make it any flavor you want. Even sometimes I do stevia and cinnamon to get like a sweet one. In the beginning, like Air Pop is good. Like if you, we might even switch to that eventually. It's a lot cheaper and it's mm -hmm. even, you know, less fat than the 90 whatever. Um, so we made Air Pop in the beginning. Our Air Popper just was not that good so <laughs> we switched to just it's just easier to buy the smart pop but yeah um we made italian popcorn which was a little bit of light margarine italian seasoning and some light parmesan cheese and we baked it on an oven sheet and it mm -hmm. was amazing it literally saved our lives because me and nicole look forward to it every single day and we needed that like one favorite food in the beginning that we had to look forward to to stay on track and you could eat a lot of it. And our goal was we needed to feel like we were eating a lot in a calorie deficit. We needed to feel full and satisfied. And another thing we discovered was pretzels. You can get the pretzel sticks and you can have 90 of them for 190 calories. And a little, you think, like these little sticks, you get a ton of them. And they really give you that salty craving satisfaction and they fill you up. And do we give ourselves like regular ice cream and like chips every once in a while? Absolutely, because we learned we can't take away those foods, it just backfires. But if we focus on things like this for the majority of the time, we get a lot, we feel full and satisfied, and we've been able to keep the weight off for six years, and this is the most fit that I've ever been and that SAS has ever been, and a serving of chips 
is 22 of the bag that we had is like, I just wanna double check the uh, calorie, 240 calories for a small serving of 22 chips. You could have 90 pretzels for under 200 calories or a whole bag of Smart Pop for about 200. That is like double or triple a serving of the chips. So it's about choosing the foods that will fill you up most of the time and then giving yourself the treats that are a little higher in calories every once in a while. That's what worked for us. Then, <laughs> we don't have any so I replaced it with a piece of paper. Rice cakes. See, this is my rice cake with the little rices in it. <laughs> and it, it's a beautiful drawing. I just want to add that in there. <laughs> I needed the rices for detail. Rice cakes were another lifesaver because they come in so many different flavors. We, you could get them in the sweet, like the caramel corn, the white cheddar, which was really good. It was like the smart food. And then the popcorn flavor. We used to bring that in my purse to the movies. Shh, don't tell anyone. Cause they tasted exactly like popcorn and you could have a whole stack of them for really low calorie. Next. Veggies, spinach, romaine, cucumbers, because they're so low in calorie and they really fill you up. You can eat so much of these. I include them in the next thing, which is this Joseph's Lavash low calorie wrap. This thing has a lot of fiber and a lot of protein in it and it really makes me full, especially when I fill it with veggies like this. It creates such a high volume wrap and I put lean protein in it. I am so full for hours and I feel so satisfied because I feel like I'm eating a really good sandwich or a sub, but it's way lower calorie. Then, this is a discovery, okay, Beans, beans are so high in fiber. We don't have time to like cook the beans, so we like the already prepped, already made ones. For one cup of these, it's 260 calories in the tomato sauce, but one cup of beans is so full of fiber. I am full immediately after eating those and I don't want anything else. I feel really satisfied. 1% cottage cheese. I know what you guys are saying, like ew, cottage cheese is gross. I did not like it, neither did Sass actually. We didn't like the texture, but this is actually really versatile. You can put PB2 in it. We put peanut butter in it as we just portion it out. Cocoa powder, stevia, little bit of non-dairy milk, and you can blend it up and freeze it. We've made like cottage cheese ice cream, cottage cheese mousse, and this is slow digesting, high protein, and if you choose the lower fat one, low in fat. We have it before bed every night. Yep, so the friends, this is what we learned. In order to stop our binging, we had to find foods that we loved that would fill us up and make us satisfied. While we did that, we did have to work through what was causing the binge eating, the emotional piece, and that is something that we had to work through in order to like keep the weight off because it was emotional eating while we were eating so much food, but in the meantime, eating foods that we loved was key. It's about choosing the foods you can eat a lot of most of the time. So if you guys are struggling, again, we're not doctors, but this is what we did and it really helped us. And because we had so much weight to lose, like Nicole said, we lo both lost 50 pounds in the first three months making some switches like we showed you today. Yeah, and we loved our food and we didn't feel like we were on a diet, which was the key. It was a lifestyle change. And we were able to do it, lose the weight, keep it off. Six years later, look at this. Oh. So the friends, if you wanna know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, Weight loss guides are down below, two of them, exact portions, meal plans, family friendly recipes. The discount code for Power 13 Cookbook is also down there because there are anabolic ice cream recipes from some influencers in there. Check that stuff out, watch these two videos. We love you, we've been there. It doesn't have to be hard, you can love your food, you can keep full and satisfied. Shake it, shake it till your mama made it. Lawn more action. You're ready for the Big Mac? I know you are. <laughs> I'll get the Big Mac ready. Get there it, ready. it goes. Get it ready, Seth. Get it ready. Shake your bean and shake your bean. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Got some big in that Mac. Got some big in that Mac, a big Mac. Love you. Peace. That was a smoochie. <laughs>
<laughs> See ya. Bye guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't 